Imagine being able to make a rank 8 Xyz monster without a single level 8 monster. So of course the zombie vampire is a rank 8 dark Xyz zombie monster that reads if you use a monster monsters with a level that is owned by your opponent for the Xyz summon of this card treat it as level 8 and neither player can target this card with effects of special summon monsters except those special summon from the grave and on the field you can detach one material from this card each player sends the top 4 cards from their deck to the grave then if any monsters were sent to the graveyard by this effect you can special summon one of those monsters to your field you can only use this effect of the zombie vampire Empire once per turn. Let's just say that if you're playing a trap heavy deck that plays Ice Dragon's Prison and Crackdown, even if you play absolutely no level 8 monsters, you can use Crackdown and Ice Dragon's Prison to steal two monsters your opponent control and then make the zombie vampire mill four cards and potentially get your engine started and revive back a monster. Of course, this card is still primarily played in combo strategies and chaos decks, especially such as Light Sword and Dragon Link, because of how much card advantage you can generate with this card. Foolishing for cards, but also, like I said, reviving back monsters is ridiculously important because it does not negate the effect of whichever monster you revive. In Light Sworn, for example, there are so many cards that I can think of that are so good to mail with this card, on top of the five cards that are milling with Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon, and good cards that have nice effects in the grave would be Wolf, Trick Clown, Fairy Tale Snow, the Strudo, Star Leech Dragon, Seyford, and the list goes on. Not to mention that if the RNG Jesus is on your side, one thing that could happen is you milling Archlord Christia and then reviving it back right away so that even if your opponent mills something like Aquamancer of the Sanctuary, which is the worst case scenario, he still can't really summon anything with the right of Aramesia and therefore his entire deck sucks. And of course this card is ridiculously easy to summon like I said because the Chaos Ruler is already a part of the combo so after that all you really need is one level 8 monster or any monster that you can steal from your opponent and when you play cards like Triple Tactic Talents you have so many options in one card sometimes you might actually use the Mind Control-esque effect steal an opponent's monster and that just happens to be one of the materials. The passive effect to protect itself from special summon monsters that aren't uh, revived back from the grave is relatively interesting, but unfortunately it doesn't really protect it from hand traps, so you still lose to Valor and Ash, etc., which is a little bait, but not the end of the world. Now, as I said, the real drawback of this card is allowing your opponent to kind of generate advantage with the mill four cards that your opponent is also getting. So if this is a mirror match of Light Sworn, this might actually help out your opponent sometimes even more than you do, but sometimes it can actually be the opposite. Your opponent might mill, I don't know, cards like Fateful Adventure in the Brave Token Engine or Wandering Griffin Rider and stuff like that. So sometimes the mills can be very bad, sometimes it can be very good. It's really hard to determine whether it's more often good or bad depending on the situation. But if you're playing a mill heavy strategy like Light Sworn or Dragon Link, chances are it'll be very good more often than it'll be it'll be very bad because of how much control you have on a card like the Zombie Vampire when you're going first and how much momentum you have as the turn player. So again, if it's your unlucky day, this card might not be the best, but if it's your lucky day, this card is probably an insta-win. So in other words, I would run this deck in trap decks that are a little slow, that want to have a little more aggressiveness to them when they can play cards like Crackdown, Ice Dragon's Prison. You don't even need to just make a Link 2 monster anymore. You can make a straight up rank 8 Xyz monster with two monsters that you stole, which is pretty good. And of course, if you are playing a combo deck, so many of the 60 card decks, etc., all those cards, all those decks that actually enjoy milling cards, this card will always be very appreciated. And thanks to the fact that it's a dark attribute, it's one of the only rank 8 monsters that you can actually summon when you are under the restriction of dark monsters only from the extra deck of Rocket Tracer. But that's pretty much all I had to say for this card review. Let me know what you guys actually think of this card in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch and Instagram. Let's try to hit 500 likes on this video. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. All right, take care, guys.